Hello, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe and share. Turn the notification on so you would be notified each time we upload a new video. South Africa should get through the thing Eskom is doing, the shedding goes on and on forever, and things deteriorate. It was said before that power is modest in South Africa by Andre E. Ryder, and that is only one reason why individuals don't ponder how they use power. Presently, they came to say that Eskom has hit rock bottom financially to purchase diesel fuel, and they won't spend more than they used to. This is plainly an arrangement to keep South Africans in obscurity, so they can keep on being guinea pigs to test environmentally friendly power energy for the entire world. European nations are liable for environmental change, however African nations should be placed in front, and who will attempt. Be that as it may, presently President Cyril Ramaphosa is by all accounts content with every one of the credits he has been endeavouring to get from these nations, and it would be astounding in the event that he went to the UK and took an advance return, this man is selling this country with a royal flair, as Ramaphosa visits the UK, pioneers say he is battling to end his quietness. Be that as it may, they cause the power to appear to be new, and they will fix it when it has been an issue for a really long time. Ramaphosa guaranteed the country that the fireman issue would be settled, and that was even before he became president. Presently he is the president, however things are more awful than previously. It is accepted that the public authority is attempting to fundraise for Eskom to purchase diesel. This can mean a greater monetary weight. However, we realize that diesel fuel isn't an issue. Eskom said they won't burn through cash on purchasing diesel, yet they will move individuals to even out 5 of burden shedding, and in a couple of days it will be level 6. Again, one of the top contenders of the sit of the next African National Congress, ANC President, Swilin Kais, has told reporters that branches of the party decided to nominate him, so that he rescues them from problems. Zwili who is a National Executive Committee NEC member and former Health Minister, is the only opponent challenging the position with President Cyril Ramaphosa. The names of the candidates that will be contesting for the top six positions in the party, were released during a media briefing on Tuesday, by the ANC's Electoral Committee Chairperson Kalima Motland at Luthali House. The nomination results come from 4,000 branches. The elective conference is expected to hold in December. Take a look at Mkai's exact statement. We have been nominated by branches and we have responded to the call. The branches are feeling that there's a need for us to do something to rescue the ANC from being a party that is deeply divided with factionalism, and a party that has got good policies that have not been implemented. People have raised concerns about the rising levels of poverty, unemployment and food prices going up, and loads shedding. We believe that the ANC needs to be effective in addressing those issues now. We believe that our call is to contribute in the implementation of the policy.